everyone! So today I will be teaching you how to make this super cute owl charm and I've gotten a lot of requests for an owl lately. And um, this actually is not my own original design. It is the original design of Lumen underscore weirdos um, design and this is an account on Instagram and I believe this was created by Nicole because I think their account is a collab account. But anyways, um, she posted a picture of hers to the hashtag tutorials by A and I thought it was so adorable when I was checking the pictures in my hashtag and um, I contacted her asking if I could put a tutorial up for her and she said yes. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you love what you see already and so now without further ado, let's get started. So today you will need any type of loom, a hook, and approximately 43 bands for the um, main color of the owl, and then six bands for the inside of its stomach, and then two um, orange for the beak, and then two black for the eyes. So we're going to start off at the top of our loom with our arrows pointing down, and first we're going to um, take a single band and go vertically on the left and vertically on the right. So you should have something like this now. And now we are going to use double bands for the rest of the um, owl. So you're first going to go vertically in the center. And then you're going to use double bands still. So you should have something like that now. And now we're going to make one row of vertical double bands of our main body color. So you should have something like this now. Now for the center, we're going to use our double orange bands for the beak. So go vertically like that. And now we're going to go back to using double of our body color bands, or main color bands, and go on the left and right pin bars vertically, like that. So you should have something like this on your loom now. Now we're going to close this off, because this is just the face, so I'm going to use double bands still. And sorry if I keep saying that, I just don't, I want to make sure that you know what um, to do just in case I get confusing or whatever. But um, this is what the head looks like now, and we're going to start on the body. So you're going to use double bands still of your body color, and you're going to go outwards here and go outwards here. So you should have something like this now. And we're going to use double of our body colored bands on the left and right pin bars only. So. like that. In the center, we are going to start to use our stomach colored bands. Um, I'm using white. So go vertically there. And we're going to make another row of the same thing again. So use your body colored bands on the outside. And then use your stomach colored bands on the inside like that. And we're going to do the same thing one more time over here. So, so your loom should look like this now. And we're now going to um, start to close off this figure. So we're going to use double of our white bands again. Or stomach colored bands, I guess. And put those going vertically in the center. And now we're going to use two more of the color that we used for the beak. And I am so sorry, I forgot to say this in the beginning, that you need four of the beak colored orange. Um, so I am very sorry for that. Hopefully I'll remember to put some kind of annotation or something there so that way you guys can still see that at the beginning. But um, you're going to need two of these bands now. So you're going to take a single band and wrap it around your hook three times. So you should get something like that now. And you're going to take double of your 
um, main body colored of bands and you're going to put those on your hook and slide the three loops onto it. So you should get something like this now. And this part's a little bit tricky so be careful but you're going to slide this onto these two pins right here. So you should get something like that now. We're going to do the same thing one last time for the right side. So you're going to wrap a single orange band around your hook three times like that. And then you're going to take double of your main body color of bands, slide those onto your hook, and pull the three loops onto it. So you should get something like this now. And we're now going to put this on our loom. And sorry if I sound a little bit weird. My throat is kind of weird today. So um, I think I sound a little bit different. But um, you should have something like this on your loom now. So like I said at the beginning of the video, we only have um, one horizontal band going across our loom, which is what makes this design really unique and um, a lot different than my other designs, because all my other designs have horizontal bands going through this. So um, we're going to go ahead and do the eyes now. So at this time you're going to need your two black bands, and you're going to start at the head, and you're going to take a single black band, wrap it around this pin on the right here four times. So one two, three, and four. So you should get something like that now and do the same thing on this pin. So one, two, three, and four. So you should have four loops around these two pins here and it's okay if you're not to this point yet. Um, go ahead and pause the video if you aren't. But we're going to take one of our body color bands and put those across these three pins right here. So these three pins, and now we are going to do um, a small hooking process on the eyes. So you're going to take your hook, and we want to cinch this middle um, part here of the horizontal bands. So what you want to do is take your hook, and we're going to go inside and grab these loops here for the black. So you can grab one at a time, or you can grab all of them at once. It honestly doesn't matter as long as they all get pulled over, but I'll grab one first. Grab it, and pull it over the pin and release. And then you can grab as many as you'd like, but if you have a weaker hook, then pull one at a time so that way you don't break your hook. But pull over like that. So you should get something like that and do the same thing to the other side now. So pull this over and over. So you should have something like this now on the face. And now we're going to go ahead and start the entire body's hooking process. So first we need to add a cap band, so take a single band of um, whatever body color you have, and you're going to wrap around this bottom pin three times. Ooh. One, two, there's my third one. So you should have something like that now, and once you're finished, we can now start. So the first band we're going to hook is this band right here on the right, so just go inside the cap band and grab the top two bands other than the cap band and hook those over to the right and then to the left like that now we're going to hook the bands that go forwards like that and basically you can just hook these single chains like normal so I'm just gonna go from left to right and it's okay if you're a speedy loomer if you want to speed ahead just because we're not going to do anything weird or special to the bands. It's just a normal hooking process here. Okay. So once you're finished with those three single chains that run upwards, we're going to hook these two sets of bands that go inwards. So start on the left and then grab those bands and hook them inwards. Like that. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Like that. So now we're going to start on the face. So just be careful on this part because there are a ton of bands and there will be some pressure on your hook. And make sure you're grabbing the correct bands. Okay, so I had some trouble hooking these uh, these bands right here on camera because I couldn't really move my loom to see what I was doing, so I had to go off for a second, but basically all I did was hook these two bands outwards that way, and now we're going to hook this band on the left. Like 
like that and then hook the last bands vertically like that so it's okay if you get stuck on this part because even I had quite a bit of trouble hooking that so just hook uh, just pause the video if you need a little bit more time but just hook like normal now the rest of this is fairly easy like that and now we're just going to hook these two outer bands right here so go on the left pin bar make sure you go inside the horizontal band and then grab those and go vertically like that and do the same thing on the right side like that So you should have something like this now and you're now going to go inside and grab these bands here and hook them to the right like that and then grab these two bands and hook them to the left like that so now we're going to hook these three bands vertically so just hook this upwards upwards and this band upwards oh goodness okay there we go and what we're gonna do on all three of these is tie a slip knot so on the left you're gonna grab the very bottom band here and do not go inside the pin stay on the outside and grab this and pull over the pin and release same thing on the right side come from the outside grab this band pull over and release then you can give these a light tug, not too tight though, because you don't want to snap the band. Like that. And then on this pin, you can add a C clip on here, but I'm just going to tie another knot here to save my C clips. So I'm just going to grab the bottom two bands. Don't go inside the pin, stay on the outside. And grab those two bands and hook over like that. Then you can t pull this one a little bit tighter if you'd like. But now we are pretty much finished with this owl. So I'm now going to remove this from my loom. And this is what I have now. So you basically just want to, um, well, here, I'll explain the purpose of not having horizontal bands. Um, Lou and Weirdos said that the purpose of not having horizontal bands was to make it a lot easier to um, maneuver all the bands around so that way you can get your desired look. So basically what you want to do is grab the bottom of its face and pull it outwards so that way you get a really round face and then pull the body outwards so that way you get a pretty round body too so that way it's super cute like that and now we obviously have a ton of bands that are sticking up over here so I'm going to show you how to tuck those in so they should be sticking out towards one side like all mine are sticking this way but you're going to flip to that side so that way they're sticking out towards yourself and stick your hook in a random spot inside your creation and then um, grab the band here and just pull it through that random spot. So I've hidden this side right here as you can see no more ends sticking out and the middle you can leave it up so that way you can um, attach it to your backpack or anything else so you can hang it but um, you want to tuck in the left side as well. So just stick your hook inside a random spot inside um, your creation There's that. And that is pretty much it. So once again, this is Lumen underscore Weirdo's um, original design, and I believe it was Nicole. I, I think that's a collab account, and I believe Nicole designed this herself, and um, they are an Instagram account, and I actually contacted them because I thought this design was super cute, and they posted it to hashtag tutorials by A, so that's pretty much how I saw it. But don't forget to go check their account out. So I really hope you guys like this design as much as I do. Again, it does not have horizontal bands, so that is an acquired look that I am not very used to but I am loving the effect of it and how it makes this design a lot rounder and so much cuter so yeah don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if the tutorial helps helps you out and hit the subscribe button on your way out as well and follow me on Instagram Pinterest Twitter and Facebook and also follow lumen underscore weirdos on Instagram as well and I will see you guys later bye